Hi, my name is Swaraj and I'm part of the Cisco TAC firewall team. Today I'm going to be talking about how we send syslogs to the event viewer on the Cisco Security Manager. We'll explore two different ways in which we can do this and what the advantages are of doing this on CSM. So I have a few ASAs added here to my CSM inventory. I'm going to be configuring the ASA to send syslogs to the CSM server, which to the ASA would appear as any other syslog server. For this, the first thing that I need to check is whether I have event management enabled on CSM. So from tools, we go under Cisco Security Manager Administration. We need to ensure that we have the event management enabled here. As we can see, the capture port here is 514, and this is the location where these events are being stored in the database. That looks good. So we can go ahead and close this. The next part would be to configure the ASA to forward syslogs to the event viewer on CSM. So for this, we go on the platform for this ASA. Of course, we go into logging. Under syslogs, first things first, we need to set up logging. So let's enable logging, let's send them in emblem format. Let's go ahead and save that. The next part would be to define at what level we need to send these syslogs. So for that, first of all, the location would be syslog servers. And just as a use case, I'm using debugging as the level at which I'm logging to the syslog server. The next step would be to add the syslog server. So under interface, you need to select the interface of the ASA, which connects to the syslog server. Put in the IP address and save. So once this is done, we are good to go ahead and deploy. So the ASA to which I'm deploying would be ASA outer and I need to check the configuration here which is always a best practice to preview the config before deploying. So as we can see the commands that we configured are all being set. Now before we move further let me take you to the event viewer on CSM. So let me just clear a previous buffer there and what I am logging are real-time events. Now, as you can see that there are no events currently being received by the event viewer. That is because the configuration is yet to be deployed. Let's go to the configuration manager and deploy. Let's see how the event viewer reacts. As you can see now, we, can, we have successfully started receiving logs from the ASA. Now, since this is this gives us all the information, the timestamp, the logs, the details regarding it. And this is the local collector on the event viewer here. So uh, the ASA is simply sending logs to a syslog server and it's actually the CSM which is receiving it and displaying it in the event viewer. Now you can stop this save it and export uh, whatever you like basically. Uh, in addition to this, let's move on and explore one more method that we can use, which is also called syslog relay. Now from the ASA perspective, everything remains the same. Uh, there's no change that needs to be made on the ASA, just that the CSM server must be added as a syslog server on the ASA. On the CSM server, however, we have an option of using the syslog server, syslog relay service, I beg your pardon. Now the syslog relay service allows us to use two additional collectors in addition to the local collector on the CSM server itself. 
Now for that, we need to go into the same page, Tools, Security Manager, Administration. And under this, we need to go into Event Management and click on Enable Syslog Relay Service. Now, once you enable, you can put in the information regarding remote collectors. So the logs that are received by the event viewer on CSM will actually be forwarded to the IP addresses that are mentioned here. In addition to that, if you would like to continue to use CSM as a syslog collector, you can just check this box, relate a local event collector. Now, one of the conditions uh, or prerequisites for you to use this service is that you need to change the port for event management here. Now the event viewer when only the local collector was being used was 514. Syslog Relay is actually another service which is running on uh, the CSM server. So when you enable uh, Syslog Relay service, an independent service gets started and that service now starts listening on UDP 514 for uh, this information. So it's required for us to change the syslog, uh, the event manage management port that was previously configured. So once this is done, click on save. It will tell you that the event management services will restart. I should receive a pop-up on the event viewer as well. All right, so let's go back to the event viewer and let's look at some real time logs. So as we can see, we continue to receive logs in the local event collector because we had explicitly mentioned that with uh, this checkbox here. In addition to that, we also have traffic being or syslog traffic being forwarded to two other syslog servers. Now the way this helps is the AAC is effectively sending traffic to only one syslog server and the logs are being collected on three different servers. So if you want to, if you want to manage how uh, you know, the traffic is being forwarded by the ASA, uh, you know, it helps save some bandwidth uh, with regards to syslogs, particularly if you're logging at higher levels. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for viewing. Do let me know if there is something I can add to this video in the comment sections below.